Hello everyone and welcome back to Python with Pictoblock series. In the previous video, we made a calculator using conditional statements and examined how to track errors. We also gave you a DIY activity to calculate squares. In this video, we are going to explore the debugger feature of Pictoblock's Python environment. Let's get started. It happens quite often that while writing the code or studying the outputs, we are unable to understand how exactly the code has been interpreted. Sometimes, when we are writing the code or looking at those outputs, it's like trying to read a secret message in a different language. And some say, if it's working, don't touch it, right? Even in the world of computers, there have been some oops moments, like the Y2K bug, where the computers got confused about year 2000. And the PayPal error, where Chris from Pennsylvania became the richest man with more than 90 quadrillion dollars in his bank account. To tackle such unwanted bugs and issues, a debugger always comes in handy. Let's take a closer look at the debugger feature of the picture blocks with the help of a comprehensive example. Remember the calculator code we made the last time? How about we revisit it? Here, we have an example code. To make the debugger stop the execution at some particular point, we have to add breakpoints in our code by clicking on the left side of that line. I'm going to add one on line 5, 7, 14 and 16. The code starts executing as expected. But as soon as you reach the first breakpoint, the code will halt. Move to the next breakpoint we need to click on the continue button. Once we are on the move function calling, we will step into the caller function by clicking on the step in button. You can see it is changing the variable's value. To step out of it and normally execute the function, we will click on the step out button. Simply click on the rerun button to start the execution again. To move to the next line of the code without executing it, we will click on the step over button. Activate or deactivate the breakpoints using the toggle breakpoints button. You can see all the breakpoints of your code in the breakpoint section and all about the functions inside the call stack section of the debugger panel and press the stop button to stop the execution. Well, I certainly understand this code better now. Make sure to try debugging your code for a better understanding of its functioning. So, that was all about the debugger feature of Python environment. It is extremely helpful and will surely save you from a lot of confusion in your learning journey. In the next video, we are going to learn how to operate the multiple sprites together. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you haven't, do subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.